The events you are about to witness are real. They are actual moments captured on cameras. They are presented to you uncut and unedited. Some viewers may find some images disturbing. Viewer discretion advised. <laughs> it's funny because it's true. <laughs> hey, I'm looking for you. I was just talking to Jeff Dunham on the phone. He had just called to thank us for that great investigation, that demonically possessed uh, ventriloquist doll. Mm -hmm. Very happy. Uh huh. Uh huh. I'm sorry. That just somebody at work. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, tell Peanut hello. <laughs> He's such a woozle. But seriously, thank you very much, Mr. Dunham. I'm glad we could be of service. Yes. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. You know, I gotta say, though, Jeff Dunham, least funny part of that whole act. Are those other guys? I mean, Peanut, Ahmed the terrorist, the old man, the old racist man, Walter. Mm -hmm. They would be so much better off without him. You do realize they're all puppets. God, I know, right? It's so sad he's got such a tight rein. Really sad. Oh, we got a call. Hold on. Blocked call. International Ghost Investigators, Hollywood Division, Dave speaking. How may I help you? Well, we do have to do some research before we enter the property. We'll be there as soon as we can. Okay, goodbye. We have an investigation. <laughs> ah, yes! Woohoo! Oh, I was putting my phone. No, that's all. Should have, you want to? Mm -hmm. No, I don't want Okay, to. all right. Understood. You want anything before I go? Uh, what's free? Definitely this one. Okay. Oh. In the realm between the known and the unknown lies the world of spirits, demons, and the unexplained. For the denizens of Tinseltown, there's only one place they can turn. International Ghost Investigators. Hollywood Edition. We really should get a GPS. Yeah. Don't you have GPS on your phone? No, I don't have a phone. What's that thing you keep talking to your mom with? Well, that's my mom's phone. She gives me that, but only has one number. I can only call her. What? Jesus! What? Last one. That's it. That's the last of it. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. We're here for Mary McCormick. She's yeah. an actress. She's an actress. Yeah. I'm a huge fan of Mary. I mean, she was on The West Wing. She was uh, starred in Plain Sight. And she played Howard Stern's wife in Private Parts, which I hear is awesome, but I'm not allowed to see. Your mom? Yeah. Yeah. She's also a guest host on uh, Chelsea Lately. She's incredible. She's called us in because she has an auditory haunting. Yes. And uh, she'd like us to investigate. Well. Duh. An auditory haunting is an actual sound or noise haunting. It uh, can be part of an active haunting, or ghosts uh, making chains rattle, uh, uh, get out, you know, from Amityville sure. Horror, yeah. that type of thing. It can also be an inactive haunting. Uh, you can have auditory um, experiences with that. Uh, children laughing, uh, dance music, um, sounds from the past. Sometimes on a battlefield you'll hear explosions, mm. shells going off, cannons. Uh, much better than a smell haunting, because smell hauntings are bad. You don't want those. You mean like an olfactory haunting, or residual smells? Uh, what? Olfactory, having to do with your nose. I'm so hungry. Let's do it. Yeah. I'm very excited. Uh, you're fan. excited. <laughs> I mean, she's like, she's such a bright personality. <laughs> 
God, you're here. Oh. Please, please come in. Of course. I'm uh, Dave. Uh, this is Paul. We're from IGI. We're here to help. Hi. Hi. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, I was like, what's so funny? What are you laughing about? We just got here. <laughs> yeah, she was crying. How could you think she was laughing? Well, they sound the same. Ha, ha, ha. Boo, hoo, hoo. You come up. Highly recommended for my friend Leonard. Leonard? Nimoy. Leonard. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think it's a Nimoy, actually. It's actually it's Le Nimoy. It's Nimoy. You right. kept you kept saying Nimoy. He was pissed. He's I don't dead. think so. Certainly, certainly. <laughs> he did. He kept saying Nimoy constantly. Because I was trying to correct him. Don't you think he knows how to pronounce his own name? You would think so. <sighs> A very good coffee. Mm, it's okay. Oh, um, I thought you'd have better coffee. So thank you for coming. It's um, our pleasure. We're here to help. It's very odd what's been going on. It's really, it's just crazy, and I can't, I really can't take it anymore. We've got to do something. There's um, music. How, how, music. You hear music? A lot of music. Just everywhere. I, I thought perhaps it was a neighbor, and I didn't know, but I, then it just started happening all the time, and the really horrible part is. <laughs> it's smooth jazz. Oh my goodness. It's well, just smooth jazz and it's all the time. It's relentless, you know, and I just, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I just, it's nonstop now. It's 24 right. seven. Pan flutes and clarinets and sax. Just a few days ago, I went in my daughter's bedroom and they have, you know, one of the walls is painted with that, that blackboard paint. Oh, oh that stuff so. is awesome. Paul? Yeah, well anyway, I went in and there was music written on the blackboard, just notes and... Is there someone in the house that's musical? No, gosh, no. Hmm. No, well, this is all for show. I mean, we just do that because it looks, you know, like we're those kind of people. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm one of those people. Me too, I played trumpet. I play mini tuba. What's a mini tuba? It's a smaller type of tuba. Like just a small, like a tiny tuba? I don't know. All I know is I had to like, put my hand up it like that. Was it a puppet? No, I don't think so. It's, uh... Well, no, then you make different noises with it. That is a French horn. Uh, mini tuba. It's a gift from Bono. Bono, I think, right? It's Bono. It's Bono. I think that is Bono. I'm pretty sure it's Bono. The little one got on my nerves. I'm not gonna lie. Now, have you had any other currents besides the sound? Yeah, yeah, it's getting really spooky. You know, some normal things like I thought, did I turn that light on or did I leave the faucet running? But then the other day there was a, some wine left in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. You never have wine left over. No, we do, but not in a box. Oh, oh, sorry. It's a box yeah, oh, of wine. Nice, so. No! For Pete's sake, I can still smell that box of wine. I have to say, 99% of the time, there's a logical explanation for well, all of this. Well, okay, I don't know who would leave box wine in my house, because that's not, those aren't people uh, that I... Those people? What's wrong with boxed wine? I hate racism. How is that racist? How isn't it? Uh, and you said something about um, another occurrence with some yeah. rose petals. Just last night, I went in my bedroom. What? And, um... I crossed into the bathroom and I saw all these little rose petals along the floor leading to the bathtub. No. And there were candles lit. No. Smooth jazz. No. No, no, no. No! Could, could it have possibly have been your husband? No, definitely not my husband. It's definitely not. Very awkward. That went on for 15 minutes. Nobody said a word. We probably should get started. Yeah, well, why don't we uh, start our investigation? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 99% of the time, these things can be logically explained. As a matter of fact, I made a chart uh, to uh, illustrate that. Um, here we go. As you can see, uh, this green area represents the 99% of the time uh, that it can be logically explained. Um, air conditioner turning on. Um, an electrical panel, uh, house settling, dog weighing its tail, that sort of thing. And then this red part is the 1% of the time when it's actually unexplained phenomena. 
be it a uh, haunting, a sprite, a demon, or a, an alien abduction. Uh, actually, I have a chart. Oh, do sure. Do you mind holding that? No, no, no. Nice. Let's stop me. Like that. And uh, this chart shows that I am in the 99 percentile for height for a six-year-old. Well, I hope that uh, helps explain things. See, in here, in here, there were rose petals all over the bed and leading like in a trail into my bathroom. Look, look, look. I saved them. So, well, that's, wow. that's well, uh, physical evidence. Yeah. We'll definitely have to investigate we'll this these. room. God, you hear that jazz? God! Don't hear it. Mary? I didn't hear anything. I didn't hear anything either. You know, hindsight being 2020, I probably shouldn't have called her a liar because that just made her more upset. Well, obviously, she was very affected by it, so we did feel that it warranted more investigation. Mm. She's probably a liar, though. Uh, uh, okay, all right. The point, yeah. listen. What? The reason both of us have these devices is so we could do it in other areas and cover more ground. Okay, all right. I'm... What? You're over there. Sir? Now. Entity, make yourself heard. Give us a sign of your presence. I'm not really getting anything. Nothing so far. OK. It was at that point we began to get auditory results. That we could hear. That's what auditory means. Oh. Whoa. I think I'm getting something. I think, no. Oh my god, do you hear that? It's like a saxophone or something. I hear it. What the hell is that? I made what myself a sandwich. You made yourself a sandwich? I made you one too. Oh, awesome. Fridge is full of stuff. A little skimpy on the cheese. She's got a drawer dedicated just to cheese. Seriously? I'm getting that when I get a house. Cheese drawer. Hi. They're making sandwiches. I guess it's OK that they made themselves sandwiches. <laughs> they didn't clean up, but it's all right. Hey, come on, man. I feel bad. We should have cleaned up our mess. Uh, I'm just saying, when you're a guest in someone's home, you know, they should make you feel at home. And she made us make her own sandwiches. She was a nice lady. We should, we should have cleaned up our mess. At this point in the investigation, I gotta admit, I was feeling a little different. That duvet cover was a gift from my very good friend, Charlize. Throne. It's pronounced Charlize Theron. My research had shown that the previous owner of the property was a soft jazz saxophonist. Mm. And he was murdered, apparently, by his next door neighbor when he refused to stop playing his soft jazz. Wow, that would drive me crazy. Yeah, but would you kill the guy? <sighs> I'm not an animal. I'd hire someone to do it. Anyway, there was only one way to go with this thing. Tibetan burn the house prayer bowl. Down. Tibetan burn, prayer bowl. Yeah, burn Tibetan. Whatever, whatever you said. Did you say burn the house no, down? I didn't say that. Well, along with the research and the investigation we've done in the home, we do believe that you have a, a spirit in the house. Yeah. There's a ceremony we can perform with this Tibetan prayer bowl, where if we all chant, we can actually capture that spirit within this vessel, and then it could be disposed of. This has worked every time. Um, actually, it's the first time we've ever done this. Exactly. Oh, great. Gosh, that's a relief. <laughs> yeah, right? So now, just follow my lead. Please place your hands on the bull. All right, here we go. Just um, 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 um. They have some strange techniques, but apparently effective. <laughs> Move faster. Um, God. Um, it's working. It's awful. Um, Grab my purse. Whoa, 
Well, those are my vitamins. Okay, I'm ready. Wow, she takes a lot of prescription vitamins like Fanax, Zimotrophin, Levitrol. I mean, you know, I take a lot myself, mostly for diarrhea. Take it! Get out of here! <laughs> totally should have stretched first. I totally completely ripped up my T-zone. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's so all much. over. <gasps> she was really great. They're really great. Another satisfied customer. Thank you. Gosh, you guys. I really, I can't thank you enough. This is, you've saved my life. Definitely our best. You really have. I'll be sure yeah. to tell Mr. Nimoy what a good right. job you did. Thank you so Nimoy. much. It's Nimoy. Anyway, thank you. Thanks. Nimoy. It's Nimoy. Oh, hey, where's my purse? My Vuitton purse, where's my purse? Uh, okay, see you later. $12,000. Demi. <gasps> and it's pronounced Demi. I'm okay, but I like pickles. Mm -hmm. I like pickles. I like them. I like pickles. You make a great salad. Thank you. I'm just gonna have a little more. Okay. Don't overdo it. Not like the last time. No, I take small bites like this. That's how I like these eat. I'm a lady. Oh, weird. Onions are in. I'm allergic to onions. 